Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, it's early morning, but not as early as normally, and I'm not doing a beach walk and talk, but beautiful in nature. Uh, today, a beautiful chart, I think three charts, an amazing trading tip, a beautiful travel tip, some really cool life advice, and maybe even talking about something else, because I don't have real big news for today, but let's first jump into the charts today. Here's the first one. Bam. The first chart of today, guys, look how simplified this chart is. We have a bear market of almost always around the 50 bars. And then we have this beautiful green area. And that green area is the accumulation phase. This is the phase that you should be buying into Bitcoin. I keep repeating these zoomed out charts because you need to understand the four year cycles. In this green box, you buy Bitcoin and we go up in the green box, we come a little bit down in the green box and all of these levels you should be buying. That's the accumulation zone. Then we get into that beautiful goldish, yellowish box. That is the bull market. And that beautiful part, you should be ch chilling, relaxing, enjoying all the beautiful euphoric feelings that you have, all the way up to the bull market top in 2025. And then you should exchange your Bitcoins into stable coins if you want to take some profit and multiply the amount of Bitcoins very simple i can't make it more simple than that we are coming close to that orange buck that's after the halving that halving is in april 2024 how beautiful is this we know exactly when the halving is and when that halving is we know that that next bull market part is going to start so be prepared and start to buy bitcoin now on this chart we can see the same effect this is also a monthly chart on this monthly chart you can see in the bottom part of the chart the RSI and at RSI you can see beautifully when you see these two uh, red boxes that's when we are topping out in the RSI and we can see at the bottom uh, when we are bottoming out in the RSI when you should be accumulating now we are at the bottom with the RSI we already had the bottom we're slowly crawling up but we should be accumulating the moment we cross that dotted line into the yellow part that is the moment uh, we should be taking profit at the moment, if you look to that beautiful logarithmic growth curve, Bitcoin is still at the bottom. We will slowly go into that green area and then into that pinkish area. When we go into the pinkish area, the RSI will be in the yellow area. Very simple. It's not that difficult to learn to analyze these charts. And then we have the third chart, guys. This is the Bitcoin price history. Um, I always consider this as the lakes chart. Why the lakes? Because these blue areas, in my opinion, are the lakes. And these lakes are being formed till we create a new all-time high. If you see completely on the left, you know the top was $32. That is when the lake started. We are filling this cup full with water. And then when we uh, cross above that lake level again, that is when we uh, cross that $32. $1,200, same thing. 20k same thing now that lake start to form at 69k and now we need to go up with that orange area to 69k and then the lake is full but every time when that lake fills up there is another run to the upside just look when the lake filled up around 12 on the dollar bam we went to 20k when the lake filled up to 20k bam we went to 70k so it's very important that you understand that we are now in the area to fill up that lake so we should be buying bitcoin all the way up to that halving in april 2024 I'm not going to zoom in at the charts. Guys, if you want to day trade, then yeah, we have some VIP programs on the BitcoinFamily.com. Um, I'm even doubting on starting this beautiful signal group, but that will be a signal group. Only Bitcoin, only trading Bitcoin, because I think it's more important for you to learn to trade Bitcoin than to do all the pump and dumps. But let me know down below again if you would like to be part of that group. Thanks for watching the charts. Let's jump into the next part. Bam. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. So let's now jump into a trading tip. The trading tip of today is learn from your mistakes. Yes, as a trader, you will be making a lot of mistakes. Learn from them. Learn from your successful trades, but also learn from your unsuccessful trades. Because if you see what you did wrong, you analyze what you did wrong, you will become a more successful trader after that. Always learn from your mistake. Nobody is perfect, but if you make a mistake, let it be a lesson for you. Bam.
And when I walk through this nature, guys, I always get this feeling of traveling, guys. And when it comes to traveling, there is one important travel tip that you need to understand. And a travel tip is always keep networking. Your network is very important as a digital nomad. You need to get to know a lot of other digital nomad families, like families or single digital nomads or couple digital nomads, because you need to learn from other digital nomads as well, guys. All of us are traveling the world in a different way and making an income in a different way, and we can all learn from each other. That is how we started the whole trip. We started our trip in Copangan, living together with about 30 to 40 German families, all with children. And by living together with each other in this huge resort, uh, we were learning a lot from each other. The resort was called at that time, I think in Copangan, Buritara, and there was like 30 families and we were doing breakfast together, sports together, dinners together, uh, mindfulness settings, uh, group chats, educational chats, all of that stuff we did together. I taught people to trade in Bitcoin and all that stuff. Other people taught me again how you could monetize your skills on uh, online socials, all that stuff. So by living together with these families, you start to understand the digital nomad life a little bit better. And at the same time, you create this beautiful network of all kinds of families. You can keep meeting all over the world and keep asking for questions and they can ask you for questions. So in traveling, your network is very important. It's not just as a digital nomad traveler. It also, if you work for a huge company or anything else, your network is always important. So try to create a beautiful digital nomad network and try to maintain the network by meeting offline as well. Not only online. That is my travel tip for today. Bam! And while giving this travel tip, uh, we'll lead into another tip, guys. And this tip is like travel slash life tip. tip. Uh, this one is about change. You need to embrace change. Change is inevitable and it will always happen. You will always be running into change. The change of yourself, but also the change of everything around you, the world. Everything is changing and you need to embrace it. If you embrace change, it will make your travel life and your normal life way more beautiful. Because you're allowing yourself to handle different situations in different ways. And when you start traveling, yes, there will be a lot of change. You should embrace it. You should enjoy it to the fullest. Enjoy this change. See the change as an opportunity. Don't see change as something bad. Because that is what is taught to you in the 90s, that everything needs to be tak 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 like this. Change is beautiful. Change will give you the opportunities to grow. Change will give you the opportunities to discover. Change will give you the opportunities to become a better person all through your life. Change should be beautiful. Embrace it, accept it and fully enjoy it. That was my travel slash life tip for today guys. Embrace the change. Bam! And by that, guys, coming to an end of the video, I don't have any news for the day, so I'm gonna keep it short. Uh, that gives me a little bit more extra time for my family today as well. Um, if you did enjoy this short update video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and let me know down below in the comments, would you like to see that signal group? Would you like to see other news articles? Because let me know, this needs to be interactive. You should be deciding what I'm talking about. You're the ones that are watching my videos, so you should be deciding what you want to see. Let me know down below in the comments which subjects you would like me to talk about. Thanks for watching today and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bam!